In this video, I'll show you how to use the new local hue adjustment feature in Lightroom Classic in order to swap colors for your infrared images. The new local hue adjustment feature was introduced in the June 2020 release of Lightroom Classic. At the end of this video, I'll show you how you can apply these settings right when you import your images into Lightroom. With this tool, you can adjust the hues in your image based on portions of the image selected with either the graduated filter, the radial filter, or the adjustment brush. But before getting into those, the first thing we'll want to do is set a custom profile. So in the basic panel, I can go under profile and select a custom profile which was created specifically for this camera. If you need to create your own custom profile, the video suggested above contains instructions for creating your own profile. So I'll select that and hit close. The next thing I want to do is set a white balance. So for this image, we will start with uh, white balancing on the clouds. That'll give me a good starting point. If you need help picking the right color balance, the video suggested above contains tips for white balancing infrared images. We'll also come back and revisit the white balance after we do the color swap. Once you've assigned the profile and set a white balance, you can swap the colors. With the new local hue adjustment option, this can be done right in Lightroom without a round trip to Photoshop. The first thing that I want to do is reduce the size of my image, which will make it a little easier to work. So up in the navigator, I'm going to select a 1 to 4 ratio so that I get more space around the outside of my image. The next thing I'm going to do is select the graduated filter, or use the M key. I want to pick a spot outside of the image. I'm going to hold down the shift key to make sure my lines stay straight, and I'm going to drag away from the image. This will ensure that all of the image receives the full effect of the graduated filter. Now, if I come over to the panel on the right, I can see the hue adjustment that's been added. If I drag the hue adjustment all the way to 180 or to negative 180, you can see that the colors have swapped in my image. When you drag the slider around, you'll see that the adjustments are very dramatic. If you want to have a finer control, you can either check the Use Fine Adjustment or hold down the Alt key, which will automatically select it. And then when you drag, you can change the value by a much smaller amount to fine tune your adjustment. For the sake of this, I will simply leave the value at 180. Now I'm going to close the graduated filter by hitting the Done button, and then I'll size my image to fit the screen. One of the benefits of this method is that now that I've swapped colors, I can revisit my color balance. So I can use the color picker to pick a different spot in the image. So maybe picking the sidewalk gives me a different color, or picking this uh, patch of foliage on the right gives me a different color. Or I can even slide the temperature slider around to get the exact values that I want. So you have a lot more control because you can adjust the white balance after you've done the color swap. One thing to be aware of once you've used this method is that any changes you make in the HSL area, the colors will be reversed. For example, if I wish to change the saturation of the sky and I come down to the blue slider, any adjustments that I make won't actually be on the sky, it'll be on the foliage because the colors are reversed. And the same thing for uh, the foliage, if I drag the orange slider, it will actually impact the sky. So when you're using the HSL area, once you've used this, uh, local hue adjustment method, it may be easier to use the picker and then pick the part of the screen you wish to adjust and then you will get the results you're expecting. Same with the sky. And this would apply for either the hue, saturation, or luminance panel. Once you've made these changes, it can be easy to replicate them uh, repeatedly with a preset. So if I come over to the left-hand panel and select the add new preset, I can say create a preset. And what I want to do is name this preset. So I'm going to name it based on the, first of all, based on the camera that it was used with because it will only work with the profile for this camera. So I'm going to say SL1 infrared uh, local hue will be the name. And I'll, I'll start with check none because I don't, I want to be very specific about the settings that I'm picking. So I'll use treatment and profile to make sure that the right color profile is picked. Then I will select the graduated filter option and that's it. You could add more values if you, if you like, but for now I'm just going to stick with this, these basics. This will set my color profile and, and use the graduated filter to swap the colors. And now I can hit create. This will create uh, this preset. Now, if I select another image, I can find this preset right here 
select it and it's already set the color profile and swap the colors. I can come over to the basic panel, uh, pick a white balance and I'm all set and start making the same adjustments to white balance. So you can see it's very easy to replicate this using a preset. Also, you could use this preset uh, for importing images, uh, when you when if you if you import a series of images into Lightroom, you could apply the preset on import, and that'll save you even more time. So that's it. That's how you can swap colors for your infrared photos using the new local hue adjustment feature in Lightroom Classic. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.